So, meanwhile, in the palace, Mother Kirtida, she grabbed Radharani's hand and saw that they were golden, and she was so happy. And everyone was coming to congratulate her, and they thought, now we have to send a gift to, to indicate our acceptance of the betrothal. So they sent a servant with a silver tray with gold and silver jewelry filled with pearls and diamonds and rubies. When everyone from Nandagan saw this tray coming, they became overwhelmed with happiness. They understood this means that the patrol was accepted by, by Brisabhanu and Kirtida. They ran to Nanda Maharaj's palace uh, to congratulate them. Meanwhile, Nanda Maharaj looked at this tray of jewelry and he began to say to Mother Yasoda, now we have to send some gift, but where are we going to get jewels and pearls and, and like this to send back? Uh, we're just simple coward people. Meanwhile, the palace filled with guests and they began to take care of their guests. But Krishna had heard Nanda Maharaj worrying, so he pulled all the pearls out of the jewelry and went away. Uh, meanwhile, Nanda and Yasoda, when they finished uh, taking care of all their guests, they saw that all the pearls were missing from the uh, jewelry. And they thought only one person can do like this. So when Lala came, uh, they sat him down and said, Lala, you won't get any trouble and we'll give you lots of sweets. You just tell one thing. What happened to the pearls? No, I'm not trying to hide anything, Bob. I took them. I planted them in the field that you, you plowed today. Are they murks, Lala, foolish boy? Pearls don't grow in the ground. They grow in the sea. He said, no, Baba, this is Braj. I know they'll grow. You come see. He took Nanda Baba by the hand and took him down to the field. And all these beautiful pearl plants were there with so many hundreds and hundreds of pearls. They filled up a bullet cart of pearls to send back to Barsana. Uh, and when that re was received in Barsana, everyone knew this is it. Now Radharani is going to get married with Krishna. Meanwhile, Purnamasi thought, she's Yoga Maya, she's the one who makes all the pastimes. But this pastime took off by itself. Now what's she going to do? And then she thought for a minute and she decided what to do. Because she's the guru of all the Brishpasis. No one will do anything without permission of guru. So they came to get her permission and she said, actually, this is a very bad time astrologically for weddings. Whoever gets married at this time, they will fight and they will, this wedding will never last. And after all, they're just little children, I must say. We have plenty of time. We should stop this for the now and in, in the future we'll see. In this way, she wound down the pastime and Radha and Krishna never got married and the Parakya Bhav is preserved as the jewel of the Gaudiya Vaishnava Siddhanta. Srimati Radharani Ki Jai.